Hey guys, Thunder E here, and with me, I have the Surface Pro 8. And we're taking a second look at this device after the updates, or actually after eight months. And before I do that, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor of this video, Best Buy, where you can pick up a device like the Surface Pro 8, especially a configuration that will be priced right under a thousand bucks. That is, of course, with eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, and of course, you can pick up the Surface keyboard with the Surface Pen that looks absolutely gorgeous. Great place to do that. So definitely use the links down below. But let's go ahead and talk about the Surface Pro 8. So this device is, look, I've, I've enjoyed it. I've been using it for about eight months now. This is kind of my like my day-to-day laptop slash tablet I take with me everywhere because uh, if I'm going from the office home, I use the Surface quite a bit. Now, of course, this is all about gaming on the Surface Pro 8. And I have to say though, this is an interesting part. We did gaming before and in that video, definitely go check out the full video. We were limited to some of our gaming performance. Now, the Surface Pro 8 comes with an 11th gen processor. I do have two Surface Pro 8s. I do have, of course, a Core i5 and I also have a Core i7 here. And it, you can go with configuration of the 8, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, when I used my Surface Pro 8 in my first video, I was able to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider at its lower settings, 720p and 1080, doing about 40 frames per second. That was all nice and dandy. That's cool, right? But I couldn't actually play most of the games I wanted to play. So we tried Doom Eternal, didn't play well, and you can check it out all in that video. Now, this time though, we're doing something a little bit different, because a few of you asked me this, how does it work with an external um, eGPU? And I have one right here, all in silver, looks pretty nice. And I do have an RTX 3080 connected inside, and this changed everything completely. All you need, of course, is a single Thunderbolt 3 cable, and you're connected with either one of the Thunderbolt ports on your Surface uh, Pro 8 to your eGPU, and you're good to go. Now, this is where things became interesting. Of course, you just had to download your GeForce drivers, and boom, you're ready to actually start gaming. There's nothing, it's a plug and play system. So the very first game I went back to, of course, was Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And I, instead of me playing at low settings, I played at higher settings, and I played at the resolution of the display itself. And I got 60 frames per second. It ran smooth, it looks nice. In game while playing, it looks really nice and smooth itself, which is great. And as you can see, the frame rate average was between 134 to 60 frames. So there is a nice range there depending on where you are in the game, but it can definitely play the game well with that eGPU. Now, you're going, okay, that's a really big, nice bump. What about other games? Were you able to play Doom Eternal? Yes, I was. Now, Doom Eternal, I was able to get roughly around 75 frames per second on average, uh, and it ran really smooth. I was able to play quite well on this device, especially connected to the eGPU, which was also a great experience as well. So I definitely like that, and I like that the performance was also there with this. We also played Fortnite as well, and with Fortnite, we're getting a solid 60 frames per second. It looked like it was high, it just looked like it was just capped at 60, um, but I did like the fact that it looked, looked really great and also ran pretty smooth as well. Didn't encounter anyone really to fight, except one guy who I killed, uh, but again, I haven't played Fortnite in a minute, so <laughs> don't count me on that one, right? And of course, I played some um, Call of Duty Warzone, which is a game I usually play. And Warzone, I could not play on this device initially, but with the eGPU, this actually took things to a very different level and allowed me to play this game at roughly around 70 frames per second. So that was also great. Now, playing shooters like that on this keyboard, you would think it's kind of weird, but it actually works out well. The keyboard does a really good job. You can actually feel, um, you know, the, the keys well, the key travels are nice. So while you're actually playing shooters like this, it actually works out pretty well. 
Audio, of course, is great as you would expect, which you've seen in the other video. But I have to say though, this is a great way to expand the way you look at what the Surface Pro 8 can do. Some of you ask, okay, what up, how does this affect battery life, heat and performance? Yes, the system does run hot. Kind of a little bit here at the back of the system itself because everything is, this is essentially a tablet that's actually gaming. But the performance is great to see that, look, I can have an eGP at home, I can put it down and I can just take this with me, close it up and boom, I'm on the go. I get about 12 hours battery life just using this device, uh, which is actually great. Microsoft promises about 16 to 17, but 12 is still nice and solid. And with that eGPU, that actually takes gaming to the next level. Now, I would just say this. I fully recommend this device and I think you guys should go pick it up if you're looking for something that's portable, you can travel with anywhere and you can get different variants of it. So definitely use our links down below from Best Buy to pick it up. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. If there's anything else you wanna see or if you wanna see gaming more on tablets, leave those thoughts down below. It's Nandi saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.